coffee guys you know I love coffee um, but what are we going to talk about today well we're going to talk about a shoot I did today and it's a shoot that you need virtually nothing for you you have everything you need guys it's simple so what are we talking we're talking natural light no flashes no equipment nothing if you have a window or even an awning you can shoot this shoot we have a small pot here and uh, this is a little brass and it's got rather a nice little painting but you'll see this this matches a picture in in the the final image so we have a little pot you see how small it is guys four cloves of garlic um, some chili powder and some cardamoms a cutting board that's it guys you you can do this with nothing so what what's it all about well for me it's always about lighting and arrangement composition of course and it's about attention to detail so what we should do guys listen not so much talk at the beginning what we should do is is go over to the studio have a look at what we're doing and you'll see how simple it is and then we'll talk about it afterwards okay guys welcome to another coronavirus shoot now it's been five six maybe seven weeks that i've been locked in the house i've been out three times for local shopping that's it i don't know if my car is still where i left it no idea don't really care so we're all taking care and we all have to amuse ourselves well as you all know obviously my first love is photography my second is coffee and i drink a lot of coffee so we did a coffee shoot um, my third is something you may not realize it's curry and when i was a young man of 16 i had a lot of friends asian indian friends and i used to go to their houses and as I showed an interest, their mothers um, allowed me into the kitchen and gave me a few tips for cooking. With, of course, Dad coming and interfering. But, hey, that's their way. So I thought I would do a curry shoot. And the curry shoot is going to be something that is not really complicated. Four items, guys. That's it. What are we going to light it with? One light. Natural light, one light from one direction so let's go over and have a look at what we've set up here so what we have here guys we have some this rather nice little pot copper pot we have garlic um, which we've piled up we've had some cardamoms here and some chili powder and we've set it off on this wooden cutting board now originally i had a sacking background at the back but it was too light so although I like the texture this time I'm going for black um, I don't really like black as a background but it's only a small part in the in the back of it now what we've done is to set up the elements in in the picture what we've done is we've put the camera and we've put the grid on and you can see that what we've done here is we've lined everything up with the grid now guys if you're doing these shoots it's really important that you line things up the other thing is how you arrange things now believe it or not i have a spoon and um the spoon is for the spices to gently spoon it out so i get that little pyramid and to make sure that my pyramid is is a good pyramid I have a brush and what I do is just brush the spices up so we get that attention to detail guys what we do is we make sure that everything is as good as we can make it now on this uh, this instance I have my trusted D850 and I have a very very old Tamron SP90 macro lens it's a 90 millimeter lens um, shallow depth of field because I'm working really close in so because I want as much as I can in focus for this particular shot I've set it to f20 which is going to give me about eight or ten seconds 
eight to ten seconds is a long time so my cable release use your cable release guys if you don't have it use shutter up uh, mirror up use um, use a remote use a delay anything we don't want any shake so we want things as sharp as we can people have said to me how how are your pictures so crisp well I take the maximum effort to make the minimum shake guys it doesn't matter yeah I can handhold and I have I've held handheld my 24 to 70 VR2 lens and I've held that at one tenth of a second at 70 and it's good but it would have been better on a tripod trust me guys maximum effort minimum shake so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the picture but before we go what I just want to show you is this is single side lighting one light guys and this is our light source what we have is we have the door open this door is at this angle because if I open it wider it puts light on the background so this door is close to here and it's put in a sliver of light across um, it catches the pot here and it catches the garlic and the spices I think it's really pleasing simple little shot anybody can do it guys if I can do it you can do it so come on go out do it post tag me let's see what you're doing let's make this community a caring sharing community let's make it something that we can be proud of as we all go forward in these difficult times so I'm gonna take the shot I'll see you on the computer guys okay guys so that's the shot that's how we set it up in the studio and uh, I put the 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 setup the cutting board I put it on a, a small stool on top of the table why did I do that it makes no difference but one thing it's just it's a better height for me to to deal with it and, and to build the set so be comfortable guys you know why why make life hard for yourself a um, couple of things look for the light but also look for the shadows this is something I've told you a lot and I'm gonna keep banging on about it guys look at the light look at the light look at the light even small changes of light look at nuances of light look at shadows you need shadows in your picture I'm gonna do a video on a shadowless picture and it's gonna be very boring because guys it's just gonna be pure white nothing there so look at the lighting look at the shadows look at your setup now I put the live view on the camera why do I do that because to look through the back of the camera um, to look at live view makes life easy why not make life easy you know this is supposed to be fun guys so we've arranged the the images with the parts of the image we've arranged the the bits and pieces we've arranged the spices and cardamoms and uh, we've we've done a bit of Photoshop to enhance the the contrast and to darken the image down a bit so let's have a look at it so this is the final image guys and this is what we're talking about in terms of uh, in terms of is it a pleasing image I think so it's a very very simple image all we've done is we've used the light from my door but you can easily use a window light we've had a strong sight light there is only one source of light now the studio is painted white so any light that comes into it does bounce around if you're gonna do a studio and it's just a studio really you should paint it black because then you don't get reflections but in this case we're using it we don't have to add reflectors in the light coming through the door is fairly strong room lights turned off so that we have as much contrast as possible all the curtains blackout curtains drawn um, I've not taped them down but frankly I don't need to and just light from one side if you look carefully you can see where the light is and it's as simple as that guys so what's the important part about this image well for me the important part is the the design and the piles of spices in the foreground 
the little pot which of course um, gives you a, a part of a, a backdrop to the to the image and the arrangement now guys this is this is a simple simple picture what I've used I can hold in one hand if you can't do this guys you need to you need to start thinking less about gear and less about what you've got and more about just just arranging things have fun it, it should be fun guys so listen this is a quite short video but it's quite a simple shot I hope you like the image I hope it gives you ideas if there's anything you need to know down below give me a question give me a comment please like subscribe share thumbs up let's make this channel um, something that we can be proud of it's for you guys I can do it you know I'm trying to give you some ideas and I'm trying to help you guys um, come along sharing and caring so that's what it's about stay safe don't go out and get infected and you know use what you've got in your house use what you've got next to you just have a small idea small tabletop bump away you go guys till next time take care and remember if i can do it anybody can and you're never too old to learn cheers guys